He says one time he was cleaning the Chamavadi's house for Pesach. His job was to clean the bookshelf for Gad Yazdi. So he said he was cleaning the bookshelves. He opens one book. He found 10,000 shkalim cash. He grabs it. He runs to the rabbi, Chacham Avadzik. I found 10,000 shkalim. Chacham Avadzik tells him, Ah, I remember a couple of years ago, I put it somewhere, I never found it. Thank you so much. Thank you, that's it. He realizes 10,000 shkalim. He doesn't know where he put it. And even when he showed him that he found it, okay, thank you very much. Yana. Next. When it comes to making a Bechalav he's crying like a baby. When he's coming to $10,000 cash, he doesn't even care. He told me another story, just to bring it to this thing. Remember me to go back. Hello, one more story. He brought his son for Hanukkah. And Hanukkah, the Minag is to give Hanukkah guilt, Hanukkah money. So Rav Gadez, he brought his little son to the Rabbi Vadi Yosef. He opens up his jar and he gives him his Magira and he gives him cash. Now what does he give him? He gave him Monopoly money. You know the fake Monopoly money? That's what he gave him. He tells him, Kvod Arav, Yiladim, this is a toy. He's like, ah, lo yadati, I didn't know. What happened? Chamavadi one day walked into his office, and I guess his grandchildren were playing Monopoly on the floor. So he thought it was cash. He said, Chavan, ba'at He picked it up, and he figured, I'll put it in his drawer to give it to the next grandchild, whatever it is. You hear this? This is a person that doesn't even know hardly what cash. He honestly thought that was cash. What was valuable to Chamavadi Yosef? Torah, mitzvot, virat shamayim. That was true value. That's what he valued. He valued every mitzvah that he did. Everything else is nonsense. I'm talking to myself, nonsense. What does a Yetzirah do? He's such a good business guy. He knows it and make believe as if this whole thing is all so much fun.